but that's pretty damn easy. And I'm tell you what, that's going to save you a hundred, two hundred hours just doing it yourself. Losing time, I'm fading fast. I just want to make it last. Try to let go. Well, so dummy me. Dummy me actually forgot to put the microphone on. <laughs> Here's my little DJI thing. There, so so what you've seen first was me draining the oil. <laughs> I used my thing about so I took the plug out, drained it out, I'll tilt it down a little bit, drain into my pan, change the oil, change the oil filter, and then start putting it in here. You get two, you'll get three, you're gonna get three cans but you're only going to use about two and a half um, so when I put the second can in the second the second one in I'll go ahead and check it see where we're at and then add the other one as I go but don't do that you're gonna get you can get them bloat but get mad stuff too well that's the big one you hear them buzzing around you <laughs> every year we get at least one or two bumblebees and they just hang right here at my back door we're going to need, like I said, we're going to, it probably takes about two and a half right now. I could probably use half of this, half of the next one. The line's here and the oil, the line's here and the oil's about right here. So probably about a half a can. Give it a second. So another thing that I have is Yamalu. And what this will do, it kind of gives it a shield. See how shiny everything is? Well, what this will do, it'll help stuff from rusting. And I'll spray this all over the, I'll spray this off. Mainly on like the, all the nuts and stuff. Now you need to you need to watch the uh, and you don't have to wipe it down and just let it sit. But I'll, I'll, I'm where you can wipe it down a little bit. But clams, razor clams are here. I'm going crabbing next Wednesday. Going crabbing next Wednesday. Yeah. Going commercial crabbing with with Captain Rachel. There's crabs for Lori. Nope. <laughs> hey, get over here. Hey, Gato, told you. Why would Star go out there like that? Cause Star is an asshole. God, that scared me. Yo, let's go. Daisy you can stay out here with you. Go on. Yeah. You got to go grab the toy or they're not going to come in. I'm telling you. Oh, okay. I got the other one. She's an asshole. Oh, drop it. She's going to grab it from you, dude. You didn't. <laughs> Now you're going to hold that up. Guess what they're going to do? You know what? I they're, don't know what to do. They're going to jump on you. Dude. Don't jump me, dude. Well, here, can you hold it? Put it on the boat. They won't get it. Spazzo. Oh, when you got two puppies, I'm telling you what. Two puppies. See, that looks good. I'll check it one more time. Perfect. All done. That's how simple changing the oil is. That's if you got an obvious, that's if you got a four stroke. Um, got the four stroke. All right. Simple as that. That took me. That literally took me 15 minutes, 15 minutes. It didn't take long for the oil to come out. So that's done. Now I'm gonna show you real quick how I changed the fuel filter. So this should pop off.
This just, oh, I'm sorry. This just pops off. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna be very gentle, but we just wanna. All right, so this just screws out like this, but you're gonna have fuel in here, obviously. So I just, I just pour the fuel out. Now this just does that. And I got fuel on my hands. And I put, that's pretty dirty. I put in uh, ethanol free gas in my boat. There's, there's a new one. Pops in. Ew, that's a fuel filter. That's how easy that was. Unscrew this, take the little filter out, put the other filter in, done. Got the fuel filter done, got the oil done. That was pretty, see that's pretty simple stuff. And you can save a lot of money. Just if you have somebody, what took me, what took me five minutes for the propeller, took me about five minutes for the fuel filter, and told me about 50, so about a half an hour time, that the guy's gonna charge you at least an hour, and that could be a hundred, who knows, 80 to $100 an hour just for him to do what I just did, that's gonna save you a lot of money. And there's other stuff you can do. I'm, I'm, I'm not the, I'm no mechanic by any means, but I'm definitely a little bit mechanically, mechanically inclined to do some stuff. Um, but changing the oil, changing the fuel filter, and there's one other thing you probably need to change. And right here, right there, is your water, gas water separator. I'm gonna change that. And that's basically, that's basically as easy as twisting it off. And before you put the new one in there, take some of your gasoline, kind of fill it up and then put it in there. So that's your water separator. But now she just needs a bath. And it's pretty stinking windy out again. But you just wanna put your drain thing in here. You wanna try to That's when I'm with the wind. I'm not, I'm not gonna deal with that right now. See how it's barely dripping out? Once you let go of this one here. Let it drain. It looks really milky for some reason. Milky? You didn't change it last year? No, milky means there's water in there and that's not good. That's not good. All right, so that's about done, you know? And uh, so everybody, your motor is gonna have a certain kind of screw to fit in the bottom of your thing, so. So you wanna screw it in. You're gonna take this off. Now what you're gonna do, hey honey, come here for a second. And lower this uh, motor back down for me, please. All right, go ahead, a little bit more, a little bit more. Okay, a little bit more, one more time. One more time, okay. So now what you're gonna do is, all you're gonna do is pump this. You're gonna pump this until you see oil come out the top. When the oil comes out the top, you go ahead and you put your top screw in 
with the little gasket, the new gasket that you had on there, okay? My oil was a little milky, but when I pulled this out, I didn't, I didn't see the gasket. So I think that's how it got in, um, but I replaced the gasket on both. Um, I'll look in there when I drain it and see, but you're just gonna pump it. Where'd you find that at? Oh, really? So you just keep pumping? Just keep pumping. What? Yeah. There we go. There's the oil. With the new seal. That's it. Everything's done. Make sure that the screws are nice and there you go. All right, so really what you're gonna what you're gonna need for this whole thing, that's changing the filter, changing the, uh, and the lower gear unit. We're gonna change the lower gear unit too. Lower gear unit, you need some gr grease, um, some gear case. You're gonna need some gear case lube right there. And then you're gonna need one of these. This is a pump. You're gonna stick this in the thing and, and you're gonna pump it. But what you're gonna to have to realize is take your motor, let somebody know what your motor is because on your lower gear unit, on your lower gear unit, you got a screw here and you got a screw down here. Okay, so this is going to screw on the bottom and then you then you're going to put it in your thing You're going to pump it. I'll show you that and When you change and when you change your gear you your um, lower unit You want to replace the little gaskets here You got two when you take both the screws out You're going to take the old gaskets off and then you're going to replace them with these two gaskets simple easy and this right here is you can go to your local Yamaha or every dealer you got. A lot of them, they have these kits. Yamaha has kits. Um, you tell them what motor you got, and they'll have the fuel filter in here and the oil you'll need. And I bought, replaced the fuel filter right there. Got this piece gonna go right there at the end. I mean, I just did this not too long ago, as you can see. As you can see it's pretty fresh because it wasn't that long ago that I did this. Um, I redid it, but we're gonna put some more on there anyway. What you want to do, what you can see, you just want to make sure you got the hole nice and, you want to make sure that this hole lines up to the other side, you got a groove so you can put the pin back in it. The pin was a little, the pin was a little hard to get out, but there's one down and a couple more to go. All right, so right there, I, I did. I, I would say I spent about an hour. We'll just say an hour and a half. So I spent an hour and a half 
I changed the lower gear unit, I greased this, I changed the oil, and I changed the full fuel filter. And it took me about an hour and a half. And I would say if you take another 15 minutes and you change the water gas separator in your boat, you probably should do that every year. I actually forgot to get that. I got to re get that to replace it. But that's pretty damn easy. And I'm telling you what, that's going to save you 100, 200 hours just doing it yourself. So it's really simple again. Hey, like, share, and subscribe. So I'm getting ready to go crabbing uh, next week for the first time on Captain Rachel's commercial boat. If you want to see a really cool video on me and Captain Rachel, hey, just go to this video right here. And look, this little circle right here, if you hit that button, uh, that will help you subscribe. I am looking for 5,000 subscribers. So hit that button, subscribe, and I'll talk to you later.